What's up, what's up everybody? Simon here. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of the American Express credit cards that I have. Someone reached out to me on Instagram at Simon, I know, and they asked and said, hey, do you have the gold card as well as a platinum card, et cetera, which Amex credit cards do you have? So I figured I'd do a screenshot of the American Express credit cards that I have. And the credit cards that I actually do have are a wide variety of American Express credit cards. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk or discuss why I have so many American Express credit cards and why I have different versions of them in this video. So before I get into this video, I always ask that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, and I truly appreciate it. And let's get into this video and discuss some American Express credit cards. <laughs> American Express has been one of the first or several of the first credit cards that I've had when I was building my credit. Again, I started with American Express Blue Cards. Uh, they are no annual fee cards. And basically, I had three of them. I still actually have those credit cards or to this day. And you could see them here in my app. Now, those cards are great. And the advantage of having multiple American Express credit cards, especially on a personal account, is the fact that they multiply your credit history. So if you have been an American Express member, say for five years under the blue cash card, and then you get a, a platinum card or something like that, well, guess what? Your platinum card doesn't count as a new credit card. It counts as the history from when you first became an American Express member. So it doubles your credit history. If your example, if you're 10 years in credit history with one card and you open three more credit cards, that gives you 30 years on average of credit history. It does not dilute your average of credit history and that's a big factor for your credit score. Now the question that really came up was when uh, someone asked me on Instagram was, hey, do you have the gold card and the platinum card? And as you guys could see in my credit cards on the app, I have two gold cards for two different businesses and and I have two platinum cards for two other businesses. And then of course I have the Centurion for personal. And as you could see with my, one of my business balances, this time it's 79,000 just on one card, which is my card. And then there's obviously the same business has balances on the other card or other members. So we way qualified to get the Centurion card for business, but opted not to do it. So platinum cards are great for business. And the advantage to the Platinum is it really depends on what type of program you're going to be using it for, how much you want to spend, etc. So the Platinum right now is giving you five times points on airfare booked through AmexTravel.com. We use that service as a travel agency, which is very good. And then the Gold Card also gives you a good amount of points. I believe it's four times the points up to, I think it's 150,000 don't quote me on it, I forgot. But the gold card also gives you a good amount of points. Now, the reason I have the gold card versus say the platinum card for that particular business is because I don't need a second platinum card. I don't wanna pay the fee. That business doesn't make as much money as the other business. So there's no point for me to have a $700 or so annual fee when I could have a $300 or uh, less annual fee. So it just really depends what type of business that you're gonna be going into. If you're starting out as an entrepreneur, it's probably good that you get the Amex Gold Card and work your way up to Platinum. If you're gonna be traveling a lot in your business, then you definitely wanna get the Amex Platinum and splurge for the extra three to $400 a year on your credit card fees. It'll be worth it with the lounges, the, the perks that you get with the Amex Platinum far outweigh what the Amex Gold provides. However, if you already have an Amex Platinum in one business and you're getting those perks, there's no point to pay that fee with the second business and get you know the same perks that you're already having. You're not gonna whip out two of the same Platinum cards to get basically the same benefit. You only need one card. Now, the beauty about having Amex Platinum is you also get the Amex Gold for much cheaper for employees. I believe it's around $50 as uh, secondary cards. 
and it's a great option. So it really depends what you require for your business. What I recommend you do when you apply for say the Amex Platinum or the Amex Gold for your business potentially, is really give them a call and see what are the benefits and run the situation by them. Saying, hey, I have five employees. This is what we do in revenue. This is how we spend the points, etc." If you're traveling, the Platinum card is probably the best card you could get. If you're doing revenue under $200,000 a year, then probably the Amex Gold is the card to get because it has a cap on how much you earn in terms of points. So you really wanna make sure that you zero in on exactly how you're gonna be using the card. And it looks like the Amex Gold card is geared more towards restaurants and dining, while the Amex Platinum card is really geared towards travel. Now the Amex Gold card will give you three times points on amextravel.com, but that's less than five times the points with the Amex Platinum. So it's good to have both cards depending on your situation. Obviously, the Centurion card is the granddaddy of them all. However, I found the Centurion card for business to be not as favorable in my decision in terms of what I would seek out of it and what you get from the Centurion Personal. You could check out the Centurion Personal versus the Centurion Business video that I've done and see for yourself what the differences are in that video I actually asked Amex concierge to define the differences and the benefits. So the Amex Platinum going at $695 definitely pays for itself. The Amex Gold going for about $250 definitely is a valuable card. You still get a lot of perks, not as many as the Platinum. And you could look at the individual reviews I have done on each card. And you could check out that gold review on my channel. And then you could also check out the Amex Platinum review on my channel for the business that I have and see what the actual detailed perks are in that video. I won't go into it in this video. But overall, definitely you can have both cards and you should use both cards and you should always pick a card that lines up with your business at that moment in time on how well you're doing in your business or what the benefits or rewards that you're seeking. Some people even get just cash back cards so that they could save two or so percent on their spending and it goes back into the business, which is also okay. So always get the credit card that best complements the business and the current state of your business and make a decision that way. Don't splurge for the platinum if you can't afford it or if you don't travel as much or use the benefits, the gold will do just fine. It'll help you get registered online to pay bills, etc. You still earn points and I use it quite frequently on my spending. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. We work hard on these videos, everything from the editing to planning, etc. And sorry, I haven't been making as many videos lately. I've been opening another business, which has just been a long haul. So appreciate the like, the subscribe. I'll catch you here in the next video. I hope that answers it.